She is on a mission to make our lives more colorful. Maul Anderson is the Dallas designer and author behind the new book, Change Your Home, Change Your Life with Color. Good morning. Thank you for Good being morning. here. Good morning. It's so nice I to meet you. You're clothed in color. I love it. Well, you do have to live it, right? Yeah. Some of us are afraid of color. I will admit that I try to just get everything neutral because... I think I'm a little worried about getting sick of a color. Oh, first of all, I wrote this book for anyone who is afraid of color. Okay. This is a 360 book. It's not just about your home. It's about your whole life. All right. So I want you to think in terms of lifestyle. Okay. And you said that basically the color just makes you more vibrant, more energetic. It really can change who you are. It can change your day. Absolutely. Well, first of all, I don't know if you know this, but when you look at color, uh -huh. it's not just with your eyes. You're looking at color with a full sensory experience, meaning mm -hmm. all of our senses come to play. And so what happens is, I don't know if you knew this, but you were born into your parents' color story. Huh. Their parents were born into their parents' color story, and your children are born into your parents' color story. Really? And do you know what a color story is? No. Can we control <laughs> it? I'm a little worried. <laughs> yes, you can. And okay. that is why I wrote this book. No, okay. the idea is that color is energy. Ah. All right. So if we are looking at color with a full sensory experience, we're looking at that color from the time that we're a small child until all the way till today. Okay. Meaning. If you had a wonderful childhood, then you tend to look at child that at color in a, in in a, a very different way. different way. That makes sense. If you had any angst, if your parents were fighting or going through a divorce and that there was a room that was powder blue. You probably don't like powder blue now. <laughs> that totally makes sense. So you have five fearless tips uh, I do. when it comes to color. Now the first one right? is to start with baby steps here. We're going to start small. We're just going to paint one wall. That's right. It's so easy. And this is so good for you because I know you're afraid of color. <laughs> yes. But the idea is you get more mileage out of a can of paint than any other decorating tool. Uh -huh. and you know what? If you screw up, I you just paint, paint it again. It again. You just and paint I like this idea. Head into your closet. Isn't that fun? Head into your closet <laughs> and see what colors you wear, what colors feel good on you, and that might be. Well, doesn't that make sense? Good, yeah, it might be. A good so, my saying is if you can wear it and feel fab in it, then you can live with it. Okay. And see, obviously, I love purple. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and violet. And violet is one of those colors with a very high frequency. Yeah. You can't help but be happy and feel girly, you know, when you're around purple, for no, sure. No kidding. You say be smart, think art. So, yes. so I'm looking at that art picture right there. It's got all sorts of colors. Do I start if I have a room that's totally blank, like all mine are? Yeah. Do I do I get art first? Do I find well, an art piece I like and then pull it from the When color? I used to do interior design, I always loved to start with art okay. and the rugs because the foundation and then the, the wonderful color that you're putting on the walls. Mm -hmm. But here's what I want you to do. You have to understand, I cannot tell you what color you should like. Uh, all right? There's a lot of wonderful properties in different colors. You have to determine which color is best for you. Hmm. And when you're in a marriage, you have to do the same with your husband because then you are merging your color stories He's together. He's going to like whatever I like. <laughs> Trust me, Mo. <laughs> now, now, can I do, do I have to pick like one main color for a house or can you do different rooms? No, well, here's the thing. If you feel comfortable in neutrals, and neutrals mm -hmm. is a color, I treat it as such, mm -hmm. well then you could do all of your basics and neutrals, your sofa, your chairs, and all of that. But I want you to think about a pop of color. Like on this couch right here, we yes, see these green right? pillows. And can I over can I overdo it? Well, anybody <laughs> can overdo it, but if the idea is if you feel comfortable with it and it's your space, which is you are trying to create a sanctuary for right. yourself. So you want to feel good in it. So if you want to be head to toe in green, have your walls and your drapes and everything, <laughs> that's perfect Do for it. you. But the idea is get comfortable. And the pops of color can interchange. If you check out these pillows, yeah, all they different have colors. several different fun colors. So you bring in, I happen to love the colors in these pillows, but the idea is, wouldn't these be beautiful on a very simple neutral sofa? Yes. And, and then you bring in flowers. <laughs> flowers are really wonderful. I always tell people, flower power your way to a beautiful bouquet. So Perfect. go to one of the wholesale florists. Uh -huh. This would be good for you. Go to a wholesale florist, and I want you to walk through, and yeah. I want you to have an open mind and say, what color of flowers is speaking to me right now? And then whatever that color is, okay, this is... Go so, for it. Go for it. <laughs> Bring them home and live with them. I think you might have to come home with them. <laughs> you can find a link to uh, Mal's book, a Change Your Home, Change Your Life with Color. Also, her website. We'll go ahead and put a link on our website, fox4news.com. Thank you so much. Appreciate Thank you. it. Thank you.